Hi guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm very proud of where the videos are at right now, so I do hope that you've been enjoying them. Now, for the last little bit of time, I've been down here in New Zealand, recovering, rehabbing this shoulder from the injury that I got in Oslo at X Games a little while back. I wanna take this opportunity to say thank you very much to everybody who's always there for me, but specifically the people that have had a hand in getting me back ready for action, ready to rock in the Northern Hemisphere season, which is coming up very, very soon. Now, this video right now is the last couple of weeks into an epic Brody Jones recap nutshell of exactly what's gone on. So strap yourself in and enjoy. All comes down to this one, Woodsy. We made it to New Zealand and all of the crew have gone up skiing, but of course before I'm allowed to go skiing I need to get check in with the physios and everybody down here, so what time is it? It's 11.30. Hey, you slept good last night. I slept really good. Yeah, I slept really good too. I slept all the way through last night, so we were obviously tired and it's probably not the best thing to go straight on the mountain anyway, but I'm a little bit gutted because everyone's up there right now skiing and I'm down here getting checked out by the physio. But he's a good dude. We'll see how it is. So it'll be good to see him. <laughs> Let's go. As soon as it happened, I went down, I jumped up, I picked my ski up with my right. You actually looked all right. I thought to uh, myself, shit, no, I you bounced back all right. But. And I, I walked off, I sort of gave everyone a high five, and then I walked past the medical people, and I was like, I, I think I might have got my collarbone. Because there's a difference between her and then that is throbbing. Yeah, yeah. It was out and down and um I, I mean her and i told her i was like oh i feel a bit sick she had a feel like she tapping on it and stuff yeah and i was like well it's not broken and yeah. she was like i don't think it's broken either yeah. and then she pushed it up yeah. and it super relieved me i was like oh my goodness that feels great right and then she let it go and tested oh. some other things and i was like oh i'm a buke now right. you know like because it sort of felt and that's when they pushed it up and I saw there was some chiropractors there, yeah. pushed it up, they taped it, like, I haven't changed the tape job. I wish I was skiing right now. Right. Like, I probably could be, yeah. but it would be daft to fall again. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> it would be daft. Just thinking about Jossie's thing, so that's 10 days away. Like, it's not going to be healed. No. Okay. 
ligaments just and joints just don't heal that quickly. So be aware of that now. Right. But we're talking about a healing time probably, you know, at least six weeks. It be, could be, you know, six to anywhere between six and 12 weeks. Before the impact. tissue is healed and can take stuff again. Right. You know, take the. Is that being strong tension. overhead? That's, that's everything. That's, that's just being back to where you want to be. Do you know what I mean? Mm, I feel you. Yeah. yeah. So, it's so much it's no worries, mate. to see you yeah, too. Yeah, Brody, nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Ah, Brody. I didn't think I was that hurt. I don't know what I did think, but obviously we were jump. We were always gonna jump on that plane, you know. Yeah. We were always gonna come down here, like anyway. And and this is, you know, because it's a kind of home place for me, you know. But I didn't really consider that I'd be coming down and be injured, you know, and like not ski. Um, I've just been getting so geared up to learn those new tricks and like everything that I was inspired by in Sasfe that I wanted to do over the last few months and what I was inspired by in Oslo, watching everybody skiing and being back in the action. You know, when I was sat on that plane yesterday, it was all about the tricks that I'm gonna learn now and the skiing that I'm gonna do and all the fresh stuff that, that that I want to learn. But yeah, that's just gonna have to wait a couple of weeks. So it's been about uh, two weeks since I crashed in Oslo. Now I've been down there in New Zealand. And thankfully, Joss's event's going on. It's a bummer that I'm not in it and I can't really do much at all, but it's nice because all the boys are down here and at least I can like be part of something. So that's cool, uh, everyone's around. But for me, to be honest, I'm just I'm just in the gym. So not that that's not bad. Thank you very much, Val. We got a lot of opportunity to recover my shoulder and be ready for the winter. But you know, I kind of did wish I'd be skiing right now. Anyway, I'm in the gym. See you a bit. Oh, can you tell me this. Okay, yeah. So swap sides. <clears throat> Let me know how the other side goes. Again, we're just testing. Really. That's what I don't like. I don't like it. Why not? No. Nah. Why? Because it just pushes it down. Oh, okay. I just feel like I'm not ready for that. Okay. It's not here. Yep. Yeah. Good. And we're just going to go one arm. No. Nah. No. Nope, nah, not it's yet. It's not happening. I bet next week it'll be fine. So remember on this one, so you're quite upper trap dominant at the moment, so try and relax. Even, even pulling down, even there. Pulling that down, trying to relax that. Yeah. It's fired up. Maybe, yeah. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first time I've actually felt like it's hurting. Yeah. You know, and, and that it's shutting me down because because I, I fell over, I got up, and it was kind of fine. I thought for a second, I thought I might have broke my collarbone. And I was like, no, it's not that bad. Hurt a bit, but then I was just holding it here. And now, like nothing changed. No flights changed. We've been down here. Everybody was on the same flight. And then, uh -huh. and then now everyone's up skiing and I'm here. And then, this is the first time I feel like it's shutting me down. Good. Yeah. yeah. It's only a couple more weeks, probably. Few yeah. more weeks till you can get back up. I know, I Which, know, I know, and it's know. not bad. It's well. It's just this is the time of the yeah. year for real. This is the time of the year that I almost value the most because yeah, it's like the little secret. No, not secret, but it's my little secret like yeah. zone. You know, like I value this setup, and 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 this is a homey place, and yeah, it's kind of. A little jump start for the season, but now, for real, now that surf trip at the end of November is, probably, is just gone. They say six weeks, you heal fast, might mm. be four weeks, and then you might be back on snow, so you might get three weeks here if the conditions are good. All right, well, I suppose we are down in New Zealand without a great deal to film right now. Never mind. It's just not what I was expecting. Do you, do, you know, do you know what I mean? We were always jumping on the plane. We were always coming down to New Zealand. And I've not been injured while I'm here before. So I always thought that I'd be doing it. Anyway. We'll have to think of Brody. Something for Brody to film. No, no, that's <laughs> not yet. So we're, I uh, remember week two, mm -hmm. the stuff we were doing, uh, you were only able to do, were you only able to do one arm? 
week two? Yeah, I think I've been so doing this for ages. You're doing surfer, and then just a few of those, because now you can bring your hands above your head. T, uh, go. Yeah, so the little, again, this is just, sca I know it's boring, um, but it's just scap work, and it'll help you sleep at night and surf better, really. That's the only reason why we're doing it. <laughs> Looks so. pretty cool, actually, up right there. So what? Uh, Looks like I'm about to take off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. That's good. And now um, drop yourself down and do the T1. So down. Oh, so oh yeah, yeah, arms. yeah. Yep. And it's all about, yeah. Oh, that one. That. Oh, yeah. Yep. And now your chin's on the ground, on the, yep. Can good. I do that with the whip? Yeah, you can, I think. <laughs> then we'll do the rear floor. So this is just the T, yep, oh, yeah. where it's all, all from we're relaxed. just trying to get you strong in through here. Good. So by having the band and you pushing out the whole time, it's external rotators, and then by keeping your scap low, it's fine. Remember with shoulder stuff, when you have an injury, the biggest cause of future injury is pre-existing injury. So we need to get your scapula really low so the shoulder doesn't pull up. So what we're trying to do is with this, something like that, although it is good for your deltoids, for the beach muscles, it's more about keeping the shoulders low and getting strong here to keep your shoulders in where they need to be. So how was it today? Could you feel it? Fine. It was All absolutely good? fine. Yeah. I didn't feel a thing. Yeah. I, the only thing was real time. My skiing was bad. Bad. Like, it, I, a couple of weeks in five months I'm skied. How many times can you fall off a rail in one day, but you've actually got to try as hard as you can. Hit them with a compilation for a danger. The idea with these things is to stay on, on these things. Oh, it could just come off. Oh yeah. I don't, I don't know what happened. <gasps> Good. <laughs> What's Alison going to say when she watches? Would you Alison's going to be gutted. Don't worry, be Alison doesn't watch. No way. I, that was wild. So fortunately I did get a little bit of skiing done down here in New Zealand. We have one more week of the season before the Italy World Cup is going to kick off the Northern Hemisphere season. Um, so I'm going to utilize that week, get myself up on the mountain as much as possible and be ready for the northern winter. I do want to take this opportunity again to say thank you very much to you guys for watching the videos and for all of your feedback that's coming in because it goes a long way. Even the constructive criticism, just keep feeding us what you want to see because we've got no rules. I mean, Brody's in the next room right now editing up the videos and... It's a pretty epic gig, you know what I mean? And I definitely want to provide you guys exactly what you want to see. We're going into the Northern Hemisphere winter now, so, you know, there's going to be plenty of behind the scenes opportunities at a lot of the big events and what goes into all of that. So keep it all coming. You've got no idea how far it goes when you guys are positive in the comments or when we bump into you guys, if we're lucky enough to bump into you on the mountain or whatever it is, when you guys say hi uh, and you like this or you like that or you want to see more of this, that's fantastic so keep it coming really thank you so much and yeah roll on the northern hemisphere winter